Hey, thanks for meeting with me today. Hey, I just wanted to know, uh, what are your goals for this year? Probably uh, use more paper. Because it's straight facts. You know, I think I would love to earn enough money to be able to move to a, a bigger place with a yard with enough room for my golden doodle. Uh, my current landlord is not the biggest fan. He never came to my baseball games either. I mean, hey, anything to move the needle, right? Triple bottom lines. Keep bringing my same homemade bologna and cheese sandwich. Use technology as little as possible. Talk to those kids in tie-dyes and bucket hats as little as possible. That's great. And uh, if you had to assess it, what do you think your greatest strengths are? Why don't I just show you, right? Right? Phew. I'm quick on my feet. Call this one the witty gritty. Okay. I do anything for you. My biggest strengths? What do you think my biggest strengths are? I, I love getting told that I'm good at stuff. Well, let's open this kimono, right? I'm a uh, ESTJ uh, Enneagram 4 Wing 6, which they said it's not possible. It is. It's rare. Uh, strengths finders individualization. Woo! I'm an otter when thriving and a golden retriever when struggling. Okay? But don't tell my wife that. I mean, honestly, I know I, I talked about it already, but that bologna and cheese sandwich. Thank you for that. And, and next, I kind of want to know anything that we could be doing better. Better vibes, uh, better aesthetic. Can we get like a Greta Thunberg day? I'm like maybe potentially not the biggest fan of like phone calls and like getting to hear rejection. So I was wondering, could there be like a, like a mobile app where I just swipe like left or right on if we want their business? We just call it Spender. You know, I don't really want to commit to saying anything right now, right? But if we do a proper cost benefit analysis, I can get back to you about that. Uh, really what we're uh, all about is just trimming the fat, right? We're just like the George Foreman grills of offices. Uh, colder fridge for my sandwiches. Okay, you love those, you love those sandwiches, don't you? Uh, and next I want to know, what, what, is, what is your win? I mean, low-key, probably just less allergic reactions in the workplace. You know, I'm allergic to tree nuts, peanuts, walnuts, and D's nuts. I'd love to get a tattoo on my forearm. This is forgiven. It's about my student loans. It is hard for me to have what you'd call an original thought. Uh, you know, but I'm normally just kind of beating people over the head with things I hear from Tony Robbins, David Goggins. I wake up every single morning and I say, hey, if I'm not flogging some Robbins and Goggins, then my noggin's slogging. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> A nice vacation in Florida. You know, just, just sunshine, the beach, and sand in my thongs. Okay. Uh, anyway, next question. How, how do you feel like you get along with your coworkers? These guys, I mean, low key, it's giving cringe, right? I mean, nobody has any riz around here, right? Also, what, what is a landline? I, I hear people talk, is, are they saying landmine? Like a modern warfare? I, I feel like I get along with everyone pretty well. Although there was one time uh, the Gen Z kid told me that I misgendered his stapler, which, you know, the, the stapler is the one like penetrating the paper, right? I mean, if there's like a pencil sharpener, well, the Gen Z kid keeps saying that I'm out of pocket, even though I'm literally right here at work. Copier's tricky. Uh, you know, you see something go in and then something also come out. I mean, everyone complains about my coffee breath, right? But you don't hear me complain about Gen Z's breath. It smells like Tide Pods. The manila envelopes with the, with the prongs. Prongs is the last question. Uh, do you have any outside of the box ideas for the company this year? Could we like get a fundraiser going to try and find like a new type of milk? I am a simp for sips. This company? Oh no, I will not be here next week. Hey, let's get down to brass tacks. I mean, we need a paradigm shift here. At the end of the day, apples to apples flying at 30,000 feet. This is a paper company. And listen, we need to have... All right, so riddle me this, right? You know how we like write letters to each other on pieces of paper. What if we took that and put it on our computers and we were just able to just send it instantly? And you could just keep them there. You could go back and look at those letters. They would, you wouldn't have to keep them in your pocket anymore. You know, like it's just directly right there electronically. We could call it electronic letters. Chew on that for a little bit. And while we're chewing, hey, what about my bologna and cheese sandwich? Thank you. And sorry, one last, last question is, what did you guys think of this video? It's over, but it's not totally over. Um, thanks for watching. Brad and I came to a public library to shoot this today. Did it look like an office? Uh, it didn't feel like one because there's people waiting to get in this room after us. And, uh, you know, I was grittying in an outfit I bought from Party City recently. You can so. rent CDs back there, baby. <laughs> but this is fun. Thank you guys for supporting us. Watch the video. We got another one coming out here in a few days.